please at least take that that thing with you. Too many hard boys out there. You've been loyal customers. I depend upon you. Not once, not once have I ever asked about your business. I don't, I don't judge. I just don't want to be involved in whatever it is you do. English, you know exactly what it is that we do. No, sir. I, I actually don't know anything. I don't know what that is. I don't know why all these gentlemen are looking for it. If they come here, I won't be able to placate their suspicions. I'm useless to you. I'm a liability. I, I only just want to be left alone. But you're not alone, English. Like it or not, now you're part of the family. This is a tape from a bug. No, oh, please, stop. Some new gizmo the feds came up with. The cords sound like a Victrola. But uh, you can hide it, because it's only the size of a... Oh, you get it. The Hoover boys planted their bug in one of our spots. But what they don't know is that we have friends in high places. Friends who could do things like smuggle us a copy of the tape. But before I could listen to it, La Fontaine's crew rolls up on us. See, we're making moves on them, and if they get the tape, then they'll know how to hit back. Everybody wants this thing. So throw it away. Somebody's been ratting us out to La Fontaine. Now somebody helped the feds get a bug on us. If we can listen to this thing, then we'll know where it was planted. Boom. If I can find a machine to play this tape tonight, the rat don't wake up tomorrow. Your friend Mr. Boyle will be here in three hours. Nobody but me or the big man touches this. What if the police come? Get rid of him. What if these other gentlemen come? Get rid of him. Because if I get back and that tape isn't sitting right there, welcome to the family. <laughs>